How to avoid spam email. Make it harder for spammers to clog your inbox with ads and scams. You will need a secondary email address, a keen eye, and an anti-spam program. Step 1. When you use a chat room, post online, or make a purchase, spammers and marketers can pick up your email address. Open a secondary account for chatting, posting, and online transactions, and save your primary email account for important communication. Step 2. If you post your address online, add characters to it. For example, post bob at myemail.com as bob at my delete underscore this email.com or bob space at space my email space dot space com. Spam bots can't process the address, but the people you want to hear from will still know how to reach you. Step 3. Google yourself to find out where your email address shows up. Unless you've authorized it, contact sites and ask them to remove your address. Step 4. If the subject line of an email looks suspiciously spam-like, don't open it. By opening a spam message, you run the risk of validating your address, and once spammers know they're dealing with a live person, they'll only send you more email. Never click on links in spam email, including unsubscribe links, and never ever reply. Step 5. When you fill out an online registration form, make sure any box asking for your permission to be contacted by third parties is unchecked. When you're signing up for online services, scan privacy policies to make sure your information won't be sold to other companies. Step 6. Use the free spam filter provided by your email or internet service provider. Consult the help section about the best way to enable it. Step 7. Search online for highly rated free anti-spam software and update it as often as possible. Step 8. Buying from a spammer is like asking someone to steal your identity. Even if it seems like a good deal, don't bite. Step 9. Never give out sensitive information online and don't share your login or password with anyone. If you're ever asked to validate personal info via email, even if the message looks like it's from your bank or another trusted source, it's probably a scam. Contact the business in question to make sure the email's fake, and then delete the message. Did you know, according to the software security firm Symantec, in May 2008, spam comprised more than 80% of all sent email.